The design principles are thinking tools that when used together allow us to creatively redesign our environment and our behaviour in a world of less energy and resources. I've displayed them in a circle like the numbers on a clock face to aid our memory. This arrangement is also suggestive of a design process, albeit a very loose one, where we start with principle one and move through considering how all 12 principles might apply to a particular issue, problem or opportunity that's the focus of our attention. This process leads us naturally back to principle one, reminding us that designing often involves many iterations or cycles before we are happy with an outcome. The analogy of the clock can be taken further in thinking of the ethics at the centre of the clock face informing and underpinning our consideration of each principle. The circle is also evocative of a wheel where the ethics provide the hub and the design principles are 12 spokes that through their creative tension keep the wheel balanced and working in harmony. In any design process it's important to consider all 12 principles together as they provide different perspectives that restrain and balance one another. Without an intuitive grounding in whole systems thinking, application of one of the design principles can lead to dysfunctional or even unethical decisions and actions. Nevertheless, it is useful and often necessary to focus on one design principle at a time when we explore them as we have done in this presentation. They each provide a very different perspective on whole systems thinking and design that can be understood at varying levels of depth and application. We can think of each of the 12 principles as a door into the potentially confusing labyrinth of whole systems thinking. Now the definition of each principle and its separation from others reflects the origins and ongoing evolution of permaculture concepts and teaching over 30 years that's distilled in this presentation and explained in depth in permaculture principles and pathways beyond sustainability. Now while nothing is ever the last word, the extraordinary spread of permaculture around the world and the very positive response to this distillation of permaculture design principles from those who are at the front lines of ecological design suggests that these design principles do reflect something of more enduring value. Finally, we should remember that the best of ecological design in any field will often be informed by a range of traditions, concepts and frameworks that may have developed prior to or in parallel with permaculture concepts and design principles. To quote another systems thinking adage, the map is not the territory. Just because something is not labelled permaculture does not exclude the possibility that it might be an excellent example of permaculture principles. Similarly, just because something might be labelled permaculture does not ensure that it's an appropriate application of all or even most of the 12 design principles. What we can do is use permaculture ethics and design principles as guidelines in considering the proliferation of creative design and action from any and every source. With these tools, we can find the best solutions in the most unlikely places and avoid the risk that such useful thinking tools could lose their open-ended, organic and flexible nature that is their greatest strength.